Hello, in this video we're going to go over a solution to problem 13 from AME 2015. We want to evaluate this product, the product of sine of 2k minus 1 when k ranges from 1 to 45. Whenever I'm evaluating products and sums of trigonometric functions, I use complex numbers. And the key identity that I'm going to be using here is going to be the following. e to the power of i theta minus e to the power of negative i theta over 2i is equal to sine of theta and it's also equal to imaginary part of e to the power of i theta. The second identity is not going to be very helpful here because simplifying products of imaginary parts of complex numbers is not going to be very easy. So we are going to employ the first identity and if you are interested in learning more about how these identities are used and what is the basis for these identities I'm going to put the link to, the, uh, to a video that I'm going to explain all of that on the upper right corner of the screen. You can check that out. Let's call this product P. This P can be written as product of e to the power of i 2k minus 1 minus e to the power of negative i 2k minus 1 all over 2i. Let's simplify it by factoring all the 2i's and factoring the negative exponents from the numerator. And this is what we're going to get. Now, if you look at the complex number e to the power of i 4k minus 2, that complex number satisfies z to the power of 90 equals negative 1 because e to the power of 180i is equal to negative 1 and remember that these are in degrees. Every angle here is in degrees. Therefore we have 45 numbers e to the power of i parentheses 4k minus 2 for k equals 1 to 45 that are roots of z to the power of 90 plus 1 equals 0. These are not enough for us to be able to factor z to the power of 90 plus 1. We need 90 different complex numbers in order to be able to factor z to the power of 90 plus 1. So how do we find the rest of these? When you plug in k equals 46 all the way to 90, you're going to get a repetition of the same sign uh, signs. So sine of 91 is the same as sine of 80, 89, sine of 93 would be the same as sine of 87 and so on. In other words, if I square the initial product, which was in fact a positive number, I'm going to be able to rewrite it as the product of sine of 2k minus 1 and sine of 180 minus 2k minus 1, which is in turn product of sine of 2k minus 1, k goes from 1 to 90. And note that all of these angles are in degrees. Now, I'm going to repeat the same thing that I did, which is p squared is equal to product of replace every sign by the formula e to the power of i theta minus e to the power of negative i theta divided by 2i, factor all the 2i's and factor the negative exponents. And this is what you're going to end up with. Now, notice that as we discussed, p is a positive number because p is a product of a bunch of signs. All of the angles are between 0 and 180. This means if I take the absolute value of p squared, that would be the same as p squared. The advantage of that is that all the i's that I had disappear and all the e to the power of negative i times 2k minus 1's also disappear. Now we have 90 numbers, 90 complex numbers. e to the power of i times 4k minus 2, k ranges from 1 to 90. If you raise each one of them to the power of 90 with a similar argument, this is equal to negative 1. In other words, all of these num complex numbers satisfy z to the power of 90 equals negative 1. Notice that all of these angles, 4k minus 2, are between 0 and 360 whenever k is between 1 and 90. In other words, these complex numbers, e to the power of i, parentheses 4k minus 2, these are distinct complex numbers, which means I'm able to factor z to the power of 90 plus 1 as the product of z minus these complex numbers. Now, going back and looking at the product that we had up there, what we need to do is to substitute z equals 1 in order to be able to find this product. And that is exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to substitute z equals 1. We get 2 equals the product of 1 minus e to the power of i, parentheses 4k minus 2. k ranges from 1 to 90, which means p squared is equal to 2 over 2 to the power of 90. Taking the square root, which is allowed because we know p is positive, we obtain p is 1 over square root of 2 to the power of 89. And that brings me to the end of the solution. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video so I can reach out more students who are interested in math competitions. I'm going to put a couple of videos on the screen for you to check out. And I will see you in the next video.